Hello all, welcome to eDramax. In this video, we will learn about all basic electronic components, and how a beginner draws a simple circuit. Here's some common electronic symbols that you should know before drawing a circuit. Let's learn basic electronics components. So the first symbol you should know is a battery. And this is a battery, and its unit is volt. A battery is a device, consisting of one or more electrochemical cells with external conception for powering the electrical devices. This is the positive terminal of the battery, and this is the negative terminal of the battery. Now connect a resistor across the battery. So this is simple circuit. In this circuit current, I flow from a positive terminal to the negative terminal of the battery. And the electrons flow from the negative terminal to the positive terminal of the battery. So this is the working principle of a simple circuit. To increase voltage, we connect batteries one after another. So let's assume we need 18 volts and we have connected two batteries, each 9V1 after another. So the total voltage across A and B is 18 volts. And this type of battery connection is known as a series connection. To increase the amper, we connect batteries parallelly. Let's assume we need 2 amps, and each battery delivers 9 volts and 1 amp. So the total current across the junction, A, will be 2 amps. And this type of battery connection is known as a parallel connection. This is a resistor, and its unit is ohm. A resistor is defined as a passive electrical component with two terminals, that is used to either limiting or regulating the flow of electric current in electrical circuits. The main purpose of the resistor is to reduce the flow of current and lower the voltage in any particular portion of the circuit. Let's assume we have three resistors that are connected one after another. And the value of these resistors is 1K, 22K, and 47K respectively. So the total resistance across in B, R total is the sum of R1, R2, and R3 that is 60K. So in series connection resistance increases. Again here we have three resistors R1, R2, R3 which are parallelly connected. The values of resistors are 1K, 22K, 47K respectively. So in this circuit the total resistance 1 of R total is equal to the sum of 1 of R1, plus 1 of R2, plus 1 of R3. And the total resistance R total is equal to 0.94 kilo ohm. So in parallel connection resistance decreases. This is the symbol of a regular capacitor. And its unit is farad. And this is the symbol of a polarized capacitor. This is the positive terminal of the capacitor, and this is the negative terminal of the capacitor. Basically, the capacitor is a device that stores electric charge in an electric field E as a passive electronic component with two terminals. The effect of a capacitor is known as capacitance. Here we have three capacitors C1, C2, C3 which are connected one after another. And the value of capacitors is 10 microfarads, 50 microfarads, 100 microfarads respectively. So the total capacitance in this circuit 1 of C total is equal to the sum of 1 of C1, plus 1 of C2, plus 1 of C3. And the total capacitance is 0.95 microfarad. So in series connection capacitance is decreased. Again here we have three capacitors C1, C2, C3, which are connected in parallel, and the values of capacitors are 10 microfarads, 50 microfarads, 100 microfarads respectively. So the total capacitance in this circuit C total is equal to the sum of C1, plus C2, plus C3. So the total capacitance is 160 microfarad. So in parallel connection capacitance is increase. So 
So this is a symbol of diode. And it has two terminals, one anode which is positive terminal, and another one is cathode which is negative terminal of the diode. A diode is a semiconductor device that essentially acts as a one-way switch for current. It allows current to flow easily in one direction. Diode have polarity, determined by an anode and cathode. Most diodes allow current to flow only when a positive voltage is applied to the anode. So in this circuit, the positive terminal of the diode is connected to the positive terminal of the battery, so it allows the flow of current through it and the lead will glow. So this type of connection of diode is known as the forward biased connection. In this circuit, the negative terminal of the diode is connected to the positive terminal of the battery, so the diode will block the flow of current through it. Due to the reverse connection of the diode, no current flows through the diode, and this type of connection is known as the reverse biased connection. Here in the first circuit diode is forward biased, and in the second circuit, the diode is reverse biased. Basically, a light-emitting diode is a semiconductor light source that emits light when current flows through it. Electrons in the semiconductor recombine the electron holes, releasing energy in the form of photons. Now, let's draw a simple circuit using the components we have learned. For this circuit, we have to go electrical engineering below. Click on the electrical drawing. After that click here for a new drawing. So the next page will open, where we can make the circuit. Here, on the left side, you find a library. In this library, you can find all kinds of basic electrical symbols. Now I will drag and drop all the symbols according to our circuit diagram. Connect the wire go to the connector and select the connector according to the circuit. Before that go to default settings from option and here you can change the color of wire so for positive wire we take red. Now for the negative wire, we will take the black wire. Now our wiring is completed. Now we have to write the name of all components. To write the name go to the text. Now click on the text and select the area where you want to write. Now our circuit is completed. So this is a basic LED circuit. This circuit get power from this battery and this battery is connected to the diode, which is in forward biased. And from diode, it is connected to capacitor, which filter the voltage, and from that, it is connected to the resistor, which limit the flow of current as per our LED. To export this drawing go to file then click on export and you can export it in different formats. To export in PDF click on PDF and export the file in PDF format. After export in PDF, our PDF will look like this. You can visit eDraw Max website. The website link is available in the video description. Here click on templates, then select electrical engineering. 
and here you can find a lot of different drawings. If you want to watch this type of video don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.